Hey folks, Rob the Axe Man here, Axe Man's Fishing Adventures and we're out on Western Port Bay, just launched from Turidan, just over here, and we're going to go out with uh, Big Dave over there from Mercury Marine with his beast of a motor. It's the uh, V8 225, sounds absolutely awesome. And uh, we're going to see if we can catch a few late whiting and maybe some squid today. Let's see how we go. Dave's on something here. Looked like a bit of a, a small way. Did look like a whiting bite. Is it? No, it's a little whiting. Oh, well, they're here. It's just not very big. Undersize, I think, mate. Oh well, we're on the first whiting and we're away. It's been a bit slow. I don't know if it's a whiting. Small. Doesn't feel like a whiting. <laughs> oh, it is a whiting. Is it? Yeah. Not a big well, I know. Only a little one, unfortunately. But it's a whiting on the on the scoreboard. He's going back. He's undersized. Nice little fella. So they're around, just not big. So, just having a bit of a fish for some squid here. End of the Warnie Channel. So here we go. Few boats out here now. And the same thing. About three, three and a half metres of water. Just using this little black magic one that uh, Riley, my son, uses in a two and a half. And I'm using a three and a half here in Western Port. He does really well on it. So I thought I'd buy one from the boys down at Melbourne Marine yesterday and give it a try. Seriously, does it get any better for a Melbourne winter? Have a look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I've struggled today. I've got one in. <laughs> one small whiting. <laughs> Going to Old Faithful, Old Faithful little pilchard pattern that I use in Port Phillip all the time. It's only two and a half because the current's not too bad at the moment. It's still not helping me. Just glad to be uh, out of the house. Big Dave's on. It looks like a whiting that one. 
Do you need a hand, mate? Oh, you've got a squid as well, have you? Stonker? Oh, get that back! That's a kilo whiting, mate! Have a look at the size of that! That is an absolute belter! Hold him up! <laughs> you have to measure that. It's got to be 50 centimetres, has to be. Measure him up. That is an absolute belter, mate! Look at that! Come on, get... Measure him up. Whoa, 44. 44? That's a ripper. Looks bigger. It's thick. Yeah, 44. Yeah. Well done, mate. <laughs> Big fella's on again. We about to take a photo of his last fish, and this rod's buckled over as well. Oh yeah, it's nice. You want a net? Yeah, net. Oh, even bigger! <laughs> That's even bigger! Wow. Look how thick it is! Oh my god! Look how thick it is! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> That's an absolute belter! Oh. Happy with that, mate? Aren't you? Look at that, that is a ripper whiting. Look at the fillets on that, perfect. Heavy. Same. 43, 44, around about there again, another one. Wow. You go happy with that, that's nice. Beautiful out here. Hopefully they're starting to come on. Something's chewed the leg off it. <laughs> it's a bit longer than that. having enough tugs but it just didn't want to mm. bend over.
company and being out on the water. Perfect day, perfect conditions. It's been fantastic. Dave's got a couple of nice whiting there for a feed tonight and uh, flatty that I caught as well that wasn't on film. But it is the middle of winter and it is Melbourne so we've had a good, good day out in the sunshine. Keep viewing, watch out for the next video. Maybe Paul Phillip and some garfish. <laughs>